Hello and welcome to our on location video in Moab, Utah. And we're at the Double Arches in the Moab Arches National Park. And since we're in Moab, I thought we would do a quick Bible study about the Book of Ruth and how she was a Moabitess. And so we're going to just take a look at a few passages here in the book of Ruth. And it says in chapter 1, verse 1, it says, Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled, that there was a famine in the land, and a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to sojourn in the country of Moab, he and his wife and his two sons. And the name of the man was Elimelech. And Elimelech means God is my king. And the name of his wife was Naomi. Naomi means pleasant. And the name of his two sons, Malon and Chilion. And that means sick and tired. And the, Eph the Ephrathites of Bethlehem, Judah. And they came into the country of Moab and continued there. And Elimelech, Naomi's husband, died, and she was left and her two sons. And they took w them wives of the women of Moab, the name of the one, Orpah, and the name of the other, Ruth. And they dwelled there about ten years. And Malon and Chilion died also, both of them. And the woman was left of her two sons and her husband. Now what happens next is Naomi is going to go back into Judah. However, Ruth, one of her daughters-in-law, wants to go with her. And she doesn't want her to go with her because she's embarrassed. And why is she embarrassed? Because, first of all, her husband Elimelech, whose name means God is my king, he left Judah during a famine, and since God is the sovereign ruler over Israel, it was a picture of God putting judgment upon the people of uh, Judah during that time, the people of Israel during that time, because it was during the time of the judges when everybody was doing what was right in their own eyes. And so it's ironic that someone whose name means God is my king, a picture of the Israelites and how they um, proclaimed God as their king, yet in the time of the judges, they did the exact opposite. They started acting like all the pagan nations around them. And so um, it's a perfect picture here. As this is transpiring, we see a picture of the whole story of Israel and the church. And it's just four chapters in the whole, the whole story the whole picture of God's uh, chosen people, Israel, to bring forth his Messiah and his church, his bride, are told in these four chapters. And so moving on, in chapter 2, we see that um, we come to a place where Naomi, and she has a kinsman of her husband, and his name is Boaz. And as his name is Boaz, that means strength. And this is a picture of Jesus. It's a type of Christ in the Bible. And so as Boaz, he is in, he is uh, the landowner of the fields that Ruth goes to glean in. So it's a picture of the harvest. At the end of the harvest is when you do the gleaning. That means the reapers have been through the fields, they've gone uh, through them, and only the leftovers are there. And that's a picture of the time we're living in now. The gleanings of the harvest are happening. The last people are getting saved. And what does he say? He says to, uh, to his servants, And behold, Boaz came from Bethlehem and said unto the reapers, The Lord be with you. And they answered him, The Lord bless thee. Then said Boaz unto his servants, unto his servant that was set over the reapers, Whose damsel is this? And the servant that was set over the reapers answered and said, It is the Moabitish damsel. They came back with Naomi out of the country of Moab. And she said, I pray you, let me glean and gather after the reapers among the sheaves. So she came and hath continued even from the morning until now that she tarried a little in the house. And so Boaz gets introduced to Ruth by an unnamed servant. It's a picture of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the one gathering a bride for his son, uh, for the Son of God, Jesus Christ. And so... Um, after that, uh, Boaz offers her bread and wine, a picture of communion. 
and then um, Naomi tells her uh, what to do, and she tells her to go down uh, to the where the threshing floor is going to be, and that's when Boaz comes, and he says um, he, he's in the midst of conducting the harvest, and when that happens, he wakes up, and he finds Ruth sleeping at his feet. And so um, it says here, um, and it came to pass, this is chapter 3 now, at midnight that the man was afraid and turned himself, and behold, a woman lay at his feet. And he said, Who art thou? And she answered, I, Ruth, thy handmaid, spread therefore thy skirt over thy handmaid, for thou art a near kinsman. And so this is a picture of, you know, the hem of the garment that the woman touched to be healed from the issue of blood. Well, she's basically saying, cover me with your authority and your protection, uh, the hem of your garment. It's the same picture. And so she's basically asking him to ask her uh, to marry him. And so what happens next is uh, he said, uh, Blessed be thou of the Lord my daughter, for thou hast showed more kindness in the latter end than at the beginning, inasmuch as thou followed not young men, whether rich or poor, and now, my daughter, fear not, I will do to thee all that thou requirest. For all the city of my people doth know that thou art a virtuous woman. And now it is true that I am near thy near kinsman, howbeit there is a kinsman nearer than I. And so what this is a picture of is he knows that there's one who's closer to her than him. And so this is a picture of the law. And notice what happens to the nearer kinsman in chapter 4. It says, Then Boaz went to the gate and sat him down there, and behold, the kinsman of whom Boaz spake came by, unto whom he said, Ho, oh, such a one, turn aside, sit down here. And he turned aside and sat down. And he took ten men of the elders of the city and said, Sit ye down here. And they sat down. And he said unto the kinsman Naomi, that is come again out of the country of Moab, selleth a parcel of land, which was our brother Elimelech's. And I thought to advertise thee, saying, buy it before the inhabitants and before the elders of my people. If thou wilt redeem it, redeem it. But if thou wilt not redeem it, then tell me that I may know, for there is none to redeem it beside thee, and I am after thee. And he said, I will redeem it. Then said Boaz, what day thou buyest the field of the hand of Naomi, thou must buy it also of Ruth the Moabitess, the wife of the dead, to raise up the name of the dead upon his inheritance. Raise up the dead, the resurrection. So he's per he realizes that he has to purchase this woman, but he has to redeem her. And the law, being perfect, cannot redeem uh, someone who is sinful. And so it's another, It's again, it's a picture of how the law can't redeem um, us because of our sin nature, because it would ruin the law's integrity and inheritance. And so this other, who is a type of the law, says, I can't redeem, I'll redeem the land, but I cannot redeem Ruth, the Moabitess. Um, you do it yourself. And so since Boaz is a type of Christ, he does it. And he says, uh, therefore the kinsman said unto Boaz, buy it for thee. So he drew off his shoe, and Boaz said unto the elders and unto all the people, Ye are witnesses this day, that I have bought all that was Elimelech's and all that was Chilion's and Malon's of the hand of Naomi. Moreover, Ruth the Moabitess, the wife of Malon, I have purchased to be my wife, to raise up the name of the dead upon his inheritance, that the name of the dead be not cut off from among his brethren and from the gate of his place. Ye are witnesses this day. And all the people that were in the gate and the elders said, We are witnesses. And the Lord made the woman that is that is come into thine house, like Rachel and Leah, which did two which too did build the house of Israel, and do thou worthily in Ephrathah, and be famous in Bethlehem, and let thy house be like the house of Pharaoh's from Tamar born to Judah, and the seed which the Lord shall give thee of this young woman. So Boaz took Ruth, and she was his wife. And when he went in unto her, the Lord gave her conception, and she bare a son. And the woman said unto Naomi, Blessed be the Lord, which hath not left thee this day without a kinsman, that his name may be famous in Israel. And he shall be unto thee a restorer of thy life, and a nourisher of thine old age, for thy daughter-in-law, which loveth thee, which is better to thee than seven sons, hath borne him. And Naomi took the child, and laid it in thy, her bosom, and became nurse unto it. Notice how interesting that is, that Naomi became nurse unto it instead of Ruth. Why is that a picture? Because this is a 
this is a picture of the rapture of the church and Ruth is with Boaz and so Israel Naomi's a type of Israel and she's left behind uh, to nurse the child and so uh, this uh, relationship goes on and ends up being the relationship where uh, David King David comes from he Ruth and Boaz are King David's great-grandparents and so uh, Hope you've enjoyed this little uh, Bible study here on the book of Ruth in Moab, and we'll see you in the next video.